Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Doom for the PC. It's a very awesome, entertaining game. Doom has come a very long way since uh, the 90s when I grew up with it as a kid. Graphically, this game is very astonishing. Like, it's like a, for me, it's a dream come true. Oh, gotcha. And the controls are very smooth, very flawless. Sharp camera swings. Ooh, look at that. It's very beautiful. And this is going to be just, uh, just a little playthrough. Just to give it a try, um, I played the whole entire level of this game, the first level. Just a trial gameplay, I guess you could say. We have to continue. Maybe we'll see. We'll have a second and third installment. I'll probably upload. Maybe we'll, we'll see it. What? How it goes? I haven't tried the multiplayer yet, but um, so people tell me that it's pretty good. It's all right. I haven't heard too much good things about it, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep on improving on it. But I believe that this Doom is going to be the trailblazer for all games to follow. And try to duplicate because graphically it's just superior to anything that's out there. I think you know Fallout is pretty good, but it's not as smooth and, and coherent like is as Doom is this game. And it's just gonna be you know the apex of graphic ingenuity and talent and. It's like the flagship the game of our era. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Oh, popped in like a zit. Just real flawless, real good texture mapping. Everything about this. Oh. That was like a shower, but everything about this game is just so fantastic. I can't say enough about it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, they took um, the glory kills. Um, I think they got the idea, maybe, I don't know what, which started what, or, but I think they got it from Brutal Doom. You know, I know you guys heard about that. I have that game and I played it, and it's an awesome game. 
And uh, I think they got uh, that idea to get the glory kills from that. You know? Independent gamers have great ideas and people get influenced. Do. Or independent indie gamers create awesome games, man. More groundbreaking and innovative than even the big business. Fire looks at badass. And great uh, situational battles. As you can see here, it's just so well placed and uh, <clears throat> just works so well. It's not typical and stereotypical, it's more different, different feel and look to it altogether. Oh! Gotta find that key. So as you can see, it's kind of similar to the older dooms. We have to find the keys and everything. But the way that they go about searching for the keys is a little bit more entertaining unto its own self. So it's not like uh, so old fashioned and cut and dry like the older games. And you just want to just wander around a little bit, you know, you just want to absorb and uh, take in all of this beautiful, you know, uh, constructed graphics environments, lush environments. Oh, that was a pop. You know, you just want to look around, just absorb it, man. It's like if Doom was like a bathtub, I'd take a bath in it, you know, that's how beautiful this game is.
It's like a three hitter quitter. And I just love how the dirt just kind of flies off. Flies off the floor, you know. Of these areas. Oh, that was terrible. And I have to say too that if this game came out um, in the 90s, you know, or even in, even in the 80s, this game would be just it would be almost like a miracle. It would blow. It would blow everyone away. It would be more um, inspiring and more influential than even the films in that era. This game, visually, is almost like like an orgasm, you know, you're just kind of like, oh, 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 something like that, you know, it's just, just so beautiful, you know, like an orgasm for all errors. And I have to just also point out that um, this game has such a, it's so graphically well done that um, just in, like just in a few more years, you know, um, as graphics become more improved, you know, as they are now, um, when we reach the apex, you know, and we will reach the apex of graphics, you know, one of these days, we'll reach the limit, and what that will do for game designers, game creators. Um, is that it'll provoke more uh, provoke for them to uh, to aspire to have some more heart and talent and drive in the actual production of the game itself. It's just like, like carrying a camera like you know you can carry a uh, anyone can video record anything that you do you know they can video record it exactly the same way that you do you do it. But it takes an eye to transform the normal mundane images of every day and make them different. And that requires heart and talent and inspiration. And one day, graphically, video games are gonna reach a, an apex limit where it's gonna demand that the creators are gonna have to work harder to make the stories more flush, make the games more exciting and adventurous and have more heart and uh, be more dramatic you know and inspiring I 
believe in honesty, especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? All the moments, the human sacrifices, the hell portal, the demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world. Beautiful, they create beautiful for background. Us. Starting now. Grenades in all games are kind of iffy, you know, you have to throw them right in this exact spot. And then and then you have a moving target, you know, spreading out, it's even more difficult. So you have to be very uh, methodical with throwing grenades. Right there. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that was beautiful. Yellow security limits 
just gonna follow him. Let's see, I think I remember where to go, I think. Oh yeah, I think I remember now. This should take me somewhere. And as you can see, the doors have specific colors on them. They're like uh, illuminating a specific color that correlates to that key. Just like the older games. When those guys pop open, get all those duties out of them, you know, those um, clips and all that stuff, it's almost like a pinata popping with the candy. Serious punches there. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. I like how the blood stays on it. Flying Amber looks so realistic.
take pride in your dream of growing workforce. Access granted. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation, located in the vast Ellis Plain Impact Basin. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is rewarded. That's an awesome weapon right here. Right on the surface of Mars. Mars, Mars, Mars. You should have this guy doing the Mars walk. My own special signature dance move. Oh, Berserk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that guy just disintegrated in the air. And one thing I never understood was the armor shards. They always had them in all the dooms. Like, I don't understand, like, they're broken pieces that you attach together to make a whole body shield or what? What's going on there? Replacing broken dented up parts of the shield? Some bloody body. You gonna grab? You gonna grab this guy? Put his hand there.
just a big dangerous environment that's what this is Ooh, pinata A gift. Now this is a really cool part right here. Ooh. Take it. It will give you strength. I like help it. Help you on your journey. Get if it. you can withstand the power, sir. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Another power. I like this android right here. It kind of reminds me of uh, the old villain guy from Saul the movie. I will unlock the remaining one with the puppet. Because his voice. Now this is some holographic technology. By the demons released from their holding cells by Olivia Pierce. I feel I should apologize for what's happened here. Some of my employees took things too far. Olivia was the cause of all this. And I believe you will have to deal with her in time. You may not agree with our research, but know this. We exploited hell and its resources. Can't wait to begin to virtual reality gaming. Interest to do so. What you now see in this facility is the cost of progress. Huh. But none of that matters now. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. They've overrun the adjacent facility. If the venting turbines aren't re-engaged, neither of us will survive the meltdown.
All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is Doom for the PC, a trial gameplay by me. I may be uploading other ones. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.